everyone in Little Village. Welcome back to week four of our series, Ready, Set, Move. Can you believe that this is our last week of the month? Doesn't it go quickly? Well, all month our series has been reminding us that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. And he wants us to follow him, to be like him, to think like him, to do things like him. We've learned from some true stories from the Bible. I know you know it. Who wants to be your friend forever? Well done. And how about one more time, really loud so they can hear us downstairs in Uptown Kids. Here we go. Who wants to be your friend forever? <laughs> Brilliant, so well done, that was excellent. Keep that truth in your heads. Now, you are so good at this month's Bible verse. Let's listen to it again and then we'll say it together. Jesus said, come follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Jesus said, come follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Okay, we can do that for the last time in this month. Let's have a go. Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, verse 19. Great. Keep saying it at home, at school, or at preschool, or at nursery, or when you're with your grandma, or wherever you are. Keep saying it. Okay, let's listen to Ollie and his friends and hear more about Jesus wanting to be everyone's friend forever. We're going to hear more of a true story from the Bible about Peter, who we heard about last week. Let's listen to the exciting story of when he was in prison, but escaped. Who? Who? You know what time it is. Time to hear a story. Today is a very big day because I'm going to day camp. It's my very first time, so I'm a little nervous. So I did everything I could to get ready. I got my backpack, and inside my backpack is some snacks, my water bottle, and we're gonna be playing lots of fun games. So I packed my fastest running shoes. Oh! And I also packed my favorite plush friend that I like to keep with me when I'm nervous. If you know his name, shout it out! That's right! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe! Who? Who? I heard my name, so here I flew! Hi, Ollie! I'm a little nervous because I'm going to day camp for the very first time. Camp is a big adventure, it's true. I know someone who is always with you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> I call these my Ready, Set, Move cookie cupcakes because they look like they're ready to roll. <laughs> but you didn't come here just for the cupcakes. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with Jesus' friends, the disciples. Oh look, there's Peter. Everyone say, hi Peter. Hi Peter. 
Jesus' friends were going all around the city sharing the good news about Jesus. They were telling everyone that Jesus wants to be their friend forever. But this guy didn't like it one bit. This is the mean King Herod. Everyone show me your meanest faces. Mm. Oh, very mean. <laughs> King Herod did not like what Jesus' friends were saying. So King Herod sent a whole bunch of soldiers to take Peter to jail. Everyone say, oh no, oh no. Peter's friends could have been worried, scared, mad, sad, or frustrated because their friend Peter was gone. What do you think Peter's friends did? They prayed. Later that night, the most amazing thing happened. While Peter was sleeping, an angel woke him up. The angel said, follow me. Peter did what the angel said and followed him safely outside. After the angel left, Peter went to his friend's house and knocked on the door. Can you help Peter knock? Ready? Knock, knock, knock. No one answered the door. Let's keep knocking. Knock, knock, knock. Look, they finally opened the door. His friends were amazed to see Peter standing there. Peter told his friends everything about how an angel helped him and led him safely out and how Jesus was with him the whole time. Wow, Jesus was always with Peter and Jesus is always with you too because Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus was always with Peter, and Jesus is always with you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God sent an angel to lead Peter out of jail so Peter could go tell more people about Jesus. Jesus was with Peter, and Jesus will always be with me. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Wow, Jesus will always be with me, even at camp. Isn't that right, Ollie? Woo hoo! I'll see you next time. Bye! Wow, that is such a good reminder. Not only does Jesus want to be our friend forever, but he is definitely a friend worth following. Are you ready and set to make a move to follow Jesus yourself and to be his friend forever? We'd always love to talk to you about that. Let's sing our song together, shall we? From the start, you're the one who knows my heart. You are there for me, Jesus. You are showing me the way, love and kindness every day. You are helping me, Jesus. So I'll find.
I'm gonna share your love with the world. Great job everyone, wonderful singing, just beautiful. Okay, that's us for today. So if you're here with us, then we've got some wonderful activities and things to make to enjoy. And if you're watching from home, then come and join us next week. But before we all go off and do that, let's pray together before we go. Dear God, thank you that time and time again, you remind us that you want to be our friend forever just like you were a friend to Paul and Ananias and Peter. Help us all to be ready, set and move to follow you and to be your friend too. Amen. Okay, we'll see you where we're going to carry on this theme for a new month in July next week. We're going to think more about being ready, set and moving to follow Jesus. So see you next week. Bye.